Well, guys, we're back from our H2 channel. We're on Season 6, Episode 9. It's called Collision Course Part 2. So, guys, I definitely can't wait to continue on to the next part. Uh, we did find out Izal is the uh, the maker who's basically trying to destroy Earth. Uh, she's basically trying to find the monoliths, or, you know, if you want to say, so she could get her power back. So, she's a really ancient uh demon or soul or if you want to say like sarge's i'm pretty sure sarge's intentions is to save the planet but his way his method of you know basically bombing uh the strike or the when they're making the tower I, that's not the right way of doing it so there has to be like a better way of doing that so you know that deke needs to basically disable uh the nuke or the bomb the freaky part about this episode was when deke and snow got together like suddenly it was just weird you felt so awkward looking at it. It was pretty funny, but it was awkward at the same time. But anyway, guys, before this video begins, I want to thank Frank for sponsoring this video through the Patreon page. Make sure you guys go on the Patreon page to support the channel. I appreciate any support that does come around. Anyway, guys, let's get into this next episode for Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Local law enforcement is on standby. Uh, tell me they can slow down that truck. Negative. No units in range. Marco and I will take the bridge. Pax, you lock down the engine base, then we get this ship out of here before the warhead blows. Sounds wow. great. Except for the glaring flaw in the plan. A drone with a mechanical arms can achieve abnormally high velocity, which can be an abnormally large pain in the ass. Shelter charges. I haven't seen these in a while. Field goes up, nobody gets in or out. The general parasite, before we land, we'll have to try to determine the cause of it. I think I found the cause. Oh my god! Ready for arrival? Does the crew seem to be feeling okay? Oh, they're not feeling anything. I gave them a higher purpose. How generous of you. What, what purpose do you mean exactly? Are you afraid you're gonna end up like them? I have no idea how rare it is to find intelligent beings like you in this galaxy. Wait until you see what we've built on your planet. Yeah. How's it looking? Like we have three minutes to live. Everything's fine. My consciousness will melt into the cosmos. I'll merge with the infinite. Babe, 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 babe. Let's not talk about the infinite right now. Let's just talk about this bomb. So what do you know about that? Nothing. Just that the slightest impact causes it to split the tiniest unit of matter in half, which makes a big noise. You've reverse engineered alien garbage your entire life. I need you to not screw up right now. Agent Diaz, I want you to take the controls. Get there fast. Oh, remember, don't attempt to do anything. No! Uh, Let me guess. You didn't see this one coming. I knew you had an exit strategy. Be thankful. In a few moments, the threat to your planet will be vaporized and we'll be flying away. Just a precautionary measure in case your fast friend tries anything stupid. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is happening. You said it was time to dazzle. I'm sorry. I tried. Actually, I'm not fine. I am not fine at all. What's she doing? Oh. oh. What? Wow! That worked! It's been destroyed. We're in danger. Are you aware that my tower would be attacked? No. Hey, absolutely not. <laughs> we have no idea what's happening on Earth. I don't think you understand the consequences if they cannot. I promise, we just need a few more minutes with the comms. Yeah, then we'll be able to reach them. Either Earth is more hostile than I thought, or he's already here. Oh, no, no! She's getting away. Damn it! You're too late. We've taken the bridge. Then I'll take it back. Uh, we've already thought of that, sweetheart. No flake knew the risks, and it won't make a damn difference. <laughs> I'll take the bait. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? No one slows us down. Whoa. How long can this trailer hold them off? I don't know. We never stuck around long enough to find out. This is Shield 226. Does anyone copy? We copy. We copy. Do you read me? Yes. This is Agents Fitz and Simmons with Shield 226. Yeah. I hear your voice, Simmons. 
Davis, is that you? Affirmative, this is Agent Davis. Also with S.H.I.E.L.D. 226. Simmons, are you by any chance on that spacecraft? That just entered the upper atmosphere? Yes, we are, and in fact, it seems our landing site was compromised. Whoever the hell is talking, I know someone else is listening. Colson? I got a message. You killed your strike. I destroyed your tower. And I'm coming for you next, Isaac. I only remember my name. Come for me. And I'll help you remember yours. Ah! Oh. Faster! We're at top speed. Then drop some weight. The crew, if you need to, just get me to that damn ship! Guess that woman really did get you. Sounded like a war of words that she won. Shut the hell up. Maybe we should drop some weight. Maybe we start with you. Bomb didn't blow, your boy Jocko's still gone, and, you know, I just can't shake the feeling that by the end of the day, I'm getting my plane back. You're not gonna make it to the end of the day. <laughs> no! Back! <laughs> Yeah, Sarge is being reckless. All right, this is an extraction. You get in, you get out. You see, the beast do not engage under any circumstances. Quinjet's still prepped for launch. You'll never make it off that ship alive. We won't leave our people behind. I know how radical that must sound to you. Take me with you. I've spent years tracking Izel, studying her every move, all for a chance like this. I don't understand what you're up against. You're right. And that's why we're bringing Jocko along. But thanks, anyways. Let's move! Oh. What are you doing? I'm letting them in. <laughs> what? Daisy, what are you doing? Maybe one at a time we can handle, but this... It's a choke point. Hold your position. Whoa, what? Wait, whoa, what's happening? That's her. Hey, remember, Shield is a capture, not kill outfit. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind. Good call. Good call. <laughs> Where is she? Not here. Yeah, I'm How many got of the away. crew members have turned into those zombie things? All of them. It's not a number. We almost had her. We need to go back. We got what we came for. We're outmanned and outgunned. We get out now. They've taken the Quinjet. There's too many of them. Please tell me you have another way out of here. God. And now what? I like you. It's because I'm likable. <laughs> Will a strike? I don't think so. <gasps> What's up? <laughs> Bobo! What's happening? Oh, I'm so happy to see you! Can't believe it's you! Who are you exactly? You don't have to do that for him, Jocko. I'm doing this for me. Jocko, no. Don't worry. I'll be a butterfly. No! Oh! No, Jocko's gonna sacrifice himself. Man, that's sad. That's so sad. All right, everyone. Those of you who have served since the very beginning, and to those whose journeys have just begun, to the agents we've lost in the line of duty. Because without every single one of you, there is no shield. Here, here. Salud. Hey, you mind if I come in? Sure. Is everything all right? I have a few things that. Uh, I want to say what that I've wanted to say. Today we survived. It's been a good night. Let's not. I screwed up. I figured if if I could get you off my mind, then that would help me be a, a, a better director. I'm not asking for forgiveness now. Just uh, just a chance to earn it. Good night. Oh my God. We can take. Oh, there you go. You? Really? You're not much of a talker, so get to it. Wait, 
wait, what just freaking happened there with May just shooting Sarge like that? Like, wait, I'm just, I'm, I mean, I know she did say it earlier in the episode that she should have, you know, killed Sarge right there, but uh, she let her feelings get in the way. But honestly, I'm going to go with this. I'm pretty sure that Sarge is not dead. I'm going to go like that. I think that he's probably more than something because I think Izal said something like that. Like he's more more than something under that skin or something like that. But I don't know exactly what Sarge is. So we're going to probably find out this next episode what he really is, if you want to say. He's obviously not human, but holy crap. Like she's just ran there pretty aggressive and just didn't give him a chance at all and just killed him off. And here's the thing. We don't know if Izel is dead. I'm pretty sure she's not. I think she's going to come back out of nowhere. It's going to be pretty interesting. That's I'm calling it out right there. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious. Maybe that's what the show wants you to think, but it could be another thing. Who knows? Jacko it was so sad. He sacrificed himself for everyone. He went up there to destroy the ship where Izel was up there, but she did disappear, so she probably wasn't there at all. I think she went on the Quinjet, I think, and maybe left out of there already before it, the ship blew up because she's pretty good at escaping. Pretty sure uh, Sarge survived and Izel survived, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen in this next episode. But anyway, guys, please post your comments down below. Tell me something about this episode for Agents of Shield. Make sure you guys go check out the Patreon page to support the channel. I appreciate any support that does come around. But anyway, guys, please stay focused, stay motivated. See you next Agents of Shield.